Okay, game number four. We are down two Soras, but we have a Crocs. And we also have a lovely resubscription from Gray, 81 month. Road to top 100 starts with a single step. Holy shit. That is, it's, I think it's happening. I think this is the first mirror match. Possibly. I think, yeah, so they have five skinks, one, two, three, four, five, six, Sauras, no, oh, grid is enabled by default now, I forgot about that, it's really nice, um, wait, why am I, oh, I'm dumb. Okay, uh, I think this is useful to have on because it does show the, uh, and it's not raining, very happy about that, Apo, two rerolls, Apo, two rerolls, three fan factor, we have six fan factor, how do I, yeah, I'm all, already readied up so two SPP four okay my opponent's reconnecting I'm gonna pause the recording seems like we are getting a yet yeah, concede connection a reconnection here I'm gonna we're gonna go explode into full screen as I said during the break uh, this is not horrible for us in the sense that we get our we get our dudes back, and we uh, we get l all the money. Yep. So we got uh, sixteen SR from that, and they got nothing. I wonder if if it's that we're getting whatever we're beating. We got the oh right only Grand Grand Drake because you you don't get more than one so let's go have a quick look at the team here so now we have a hundred k we have eleven players I think I'm gonna get myself a spare skink at this point because I feel like I need one. And then we'll instantly spin again. Very nice. Also, did we actually blood pass? Oh, no, we. <laughs> We did not get much experience from that. Okay. We're back with another attempt at a game here. And it's Dwarves this time around. Uh, a kind sir, I will answer your question uh, shortly. <laughs> Just let's go through this intro. Ooh, finally we get some decent fan factors. So that, that alone is 65k. Uh... What do you have? You have guard, guard mighty blow, wrestle block, guard mighty blow. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, so this can be, uh, this is. Wait, hang on. Did I accidentally buy that? Uh. I'm, I'm going to accidentally buy those things instead. So the question was, do you know if blood, uh, blood Pass experience is based on how long the game lasts? So what I do know is that it's based on... I asked Cyanide about this uh, not too long ago. And it's based on a few different things. You don't like... Or I specifically asked, hey, do you just get... Um, do you just get uh, blood... Um, 
Blood Palace experience from... Oh, that's not how I want things. Wow, this is not the... Oh, right, hang on. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's do this and see what happens. So, um, my understanding is that it's not based only on game length. Uh, you don't get it from just playing in the official ladder. You also get it in... Uh, generally, you get experience by just playing the game. Uh, but you, I think, like, you're definitely... I think... What I think is going on is that, yes, you probably get more experience in a longer game, but that might not necessarily be the game length, as in time-wise, it might be like, maybe you get experience based on the actions you take in a game. In the longer game, you're going to do more actions, right? So that might be a thing, but it's definitely, I think, you know, the more you play, the more stuff happens in a game. It seems like, ooh, they had red dice. That's cool. How do you get... I wonder if that's a coach thing that I haven't unlocked yet. It might be. Did I have a... Oh, I put the wrong people. All oh, right, Lepernom does have a niggle. These are cool colored dice. Um, unfortunately, they're, the block dice are slightly harder to read. Yeah, so we're playing against we're playing against a coach that currently has higher coach level than me, which means they played more than three games. Uh, actually, okay, you gonna reroll that? Uh, yeah. Wow. Even then, that's a like they got quad scald there, right? But even then, if that was a push, they'd end up here, and then that would have been a... They were kind of... They were okay with Frenzy trapping themselves, which is interesting. Okay, well... Stop. Yeah, wrestle. Gonna do some other stuff first. We'll put you here. One, two, th four. big question here is do I go for this I think I do oh nice uh, I think I want it here uh, no I think oh <laughs> that's uh, it's the first okay first interaction with the croxigore instant uh, KO that's a decent start remember we do have a spare they don't. They can definitely, like, go do things here if they want. Like, if this guy runs into here, this guy clears that. But as long as the dwarves are hanging out on the... Um, On my sores, I'm happy. 
nobody has a higher course level than me. I don't think that's true. Are lizard pants the new dwarf hats? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the Vesk team for the win. You know what? You're, I guess, yeah. The Vesk and lizard men. Especially when you put pants on, on the lizard men. Uh, very similar. For those who don't really know, uh, Vesk are a an alien race in Starfinders, which is a really cool uh, RPG system. That was the that was the ball carrier blocking. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to chain push these guys somewhere that makes sense. I mean, I don't think so. Oh, uh. That kind of is, actually, turns out. Oh, that's a rush. Let's not do that. Scorpion KC is so good at this. It's worked. It's worked twice. Oh, yeah. We don't want to do that. We want to do that. Oh, right, you yeah, block. Um, what's the... No, I have to take this one. Oh, we got another KO. That's massive. Okay, I, I do want to take that, but I also want to do this. That's a tackle piece, so this is a 1 and 9, that's slightly better. Couldn't get it, but we can go do this. And we fell over. Yeah, so now they, get, uh, they clear this and they have a wrestle here. Let's see if they do that. Uh, yep. So they have a two, two, five plus to get a knockdown here, very likely. They didn't get it. And they didn't get it. We got rid of two out of three guard. The hit sounds are still understated. Uh, yeah, they might be. Um, I think they changed the blitz sound. Uh, 
Yep. Oof. And now we are out of rerolls. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Who do I want to try and murder first here? I think I want to try and murder you first. And that didn't work. So I think I still want to try and murder you. Yeah. And that didn't work. So, we're going to stay put, because I think I want to try and do this, and that didn't work. And that didn't work. Uh, it's, I fucked up. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm hoping uh, we get to see Shadowing do a thing. Basically, because these guys are KO'd. Because uh, these guys are KO'd, I have no intention of scoring right now. Do we have, like, Math Machine here somewhere? Are you Math Machine? Yeah, you are. I don't understand why, why that comes up as often as it does. Okay, um... Okay, um, no, we do the, we do the handoff first. Nice. It's really hard to knock these dwarves down. Low center of gravity, yep, yep, yep. Uh, also, the other reason... Oh, they're also out of rerolls, I didn't realize that. Uh, the other reason I want Math Machine to get uh, 12, uh, you know, I, I want them to get a secondary skill, which in this case would be Block. And the reason I want that is because I'm expecting... It hasn't been the case, but I'm expecting there to be a decent amount of, like, Listed Men on the ladder. Um... Ooh, dodge out, please. Nope.
Okay. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Head injury. What's that? Minus armor value? Yeah, minus armor value. Oh, and they took it. I mean, it's zero SPP. I guess they can rebuy that quite easily if they want. Um. I remember we had, like we had a big discussion. Uh, uh, there was a, there was a big discussion in in Twitch chat like a few weeks ago whether what you should be running against Lizardmen under the assumption that you think everyone's playing Lizardmen on the official ladder, and I was uh, being like, uh, I really like dwarves because they have a lot of tackle, um, and uh, some other people in Twitch chat uh, was like, no, orcs are so much better. Um, and I think after a heated discussion, uh, I think it was like both of them, both of them work, and apparently both of them have about the same win rate against lesser men. This is the second time I've seen dwarves. I've not seen orcs yet, uh, which I'll be honest, I was a bit surprised by because I, while I don't, while I personally would have picked dwarves, I can totally see orcs being a valuable. Like a viable option. Uh, they just didn't. Uh, but we haven't seen it yet. That said, this is game five, so. Oh, stunned. Very nice uh, for us. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Sneak, sneaky cyanide. Okay, um... Oh, wait a minute. I have to figure out the best way to do this. Oh, that's too much. This is doable, however. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can go run this guy over here. I'm debating whether to foul this or not. Cool. I think we still did that in the correct order, though. 
because this is prone in this square, so this guy can't dodge out this way. I'll have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is doable, but this guy has prehensile tail, so it's a um, it's a four plus. Turn seven. Yep, that's good. So we're going to take these three hits, then we're going to try and dodge this out and foul this. Getting some knockdowns that I wasn't expecting. Fell over, hurt myself. This is like, yeah, put put pants on the croc. It just works. So the good, and also slightly shocking news, is that we only have one KO. Because we only get one chance. And they have one proper injury and two KOs. So, yeah, I think Prince Altel didn't do... Uh, hey, shadowing worked. Woo! Math machine gets 12 SPP. What a time to be alive. Oh, yeah, look how happy my shit leader is. The reason we get that animation, by the way, is because I, I spent money on my inducements <laughs> to get a shield leader and an assistant coach. Okay, all of the KOs came back, but we can now do the cool thing of not having Math Machine on the pitch. Because we have a spare. Interesting. I thought they. Well, I guess they realized that if they put all of their guard pieces on the LOS, they can't knock my dudes down. Or rather, I can knock their dudes down still. Okay, where is Math Machine? See, which side would I rather I think I'd rather hang out on this side.
Oh, uh, that's better. Uh, oh, yeah, go over here, please. Uh, I'd really like, uh, they're probably going to put people here, and I'd really like, oh, nope. I'd really like them, i really like, yeah, good. And now, fail to catch and have it scatter here, so I can give it to Lagosaurus Rex. Go! No! Oh, but that's a, that's a possible surf. So that's still nice. I'm gonna start with this though. Push you away, stay put. Uh, right. Uh, in the meantime, you go here. Cool, very cool indeed. But oh right, this is this is uh, this is Blood Bowl 2020. I get to use more rerolls per turn. Wow, they have an Apo. Let's see if they use it. They did. Let's see if dude survives. Uh, new outcome, no injury. Okay, um... So that's five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I should have done that the other way around. What the? How? How did it? How could it? The. I, it must, I, you know, I wish I knew, I, these are, I want to see these dice rolls, right? But that's, yeah, that's extremely rough. Because, uh, well, okay, so we got rid of one of the dwarfs, we're out of rerolls, and the balls now over there. The good news is that we're faster than the dwarfs, so once they pick it up here, they have to go all the way over here, so we might be able to do stuff. But, whew, uh, we're gonna... Uh, Is not really what I wanted. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not very exciting. Um, this is pretty exciting because this is our only frenzy piece. I mean, I have to take this, but I think I still do this blitz first. Nice. Uh, no, let's tie them up. Okay. Uh... So, the only piece they have free is this guy. Well, and that guy, but I assume that guy's gonna try and pick the ball up. It, I mean, it has to be, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's 2d6, because otherwise it wouldn't get over here. Because it came from over here to here, and then it scattered. So that would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't have to be 12, I guess, but it's a massive throw-in. Landed off the field once. Uh, yeah, I mean, it might it might have done. I think we're past it, but it's even t to get over here, like, the only way to land off field is for it to go, you know, it has to traverse the whole side, right? You can't... Because it either goes diagonally this way, it goes straight across, or it goes diagonally this way. So it couldn't get in and then bounce back somehow. Okay, so I think we... Uh Okay, we have to try this now. Very nice. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. No, I think I have to tie this up, don't I? I do. Right. Let's see, is there anyone else? Oh, I want you to be here. Because you might get an idea I want to dodge out. Move you here. Okay. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Can we go back? Thank you. Uh, we're going to keep this guy stuck here. I think we're going to do the same here. Uh, same here. You know what? I don't want to... I'm not going to take any of these hits. Because I have no rerolls. And a, a 1 in 9... Would be a catastrophic failure here and here because it frees up like this path right they get like this can still easily dodge here but it can't dodge through this guy because he's got shadowing And that's the blitz, so 
very happy with that. So we know that they're not blitzing Earthros here. Oh, here we go. Is there anyone else we... Oh. We kind of want to give it to Grendra Grendrake if we can. Um... This is still better. This is a 1 in 9 rather than a 1 in 3. Because this guy's got tackle, right? So my dodge doesn't work here. Maybe a bit too greedy of me, but we're in a decent spot, and they're dwarfs. It'd be, I think it'd be, I, I, I'd feel, I'd feel a lot different if it was, um, huh? Oh, is it? Do they not have the range if it's a both down? Oh, no, like, they can't get away from this if it's a both down, so now they have to dodge. And, the, it, and yes, they don't have the range. And they got stunned. Okay, uh, let's see. This is... I want to score this turn, because it's it's too greedy otherwise, I think. The question is, is there anything else I want to do here before this? Those guys are stunned. This guy's covering this. This guy's going to get hit by this uh, dwarf. That's fine. Now, the question is, do I want to do... No. Let's score. Remember, I mean, like, last, last, last proper game against Chaos, we were in a position where we could have, like, gone for another touchdown rather than play it safe. And I think this score, being up 2-0 now against Dorfs, means that we are very likely to win. And this is something to remember. Oh, that's... I think we're just going to give... What do we give these skinks if we don't give them doubles? Do we just give them sidestep? Or do we give them diving catch? I guess you give these guys diving... Uh, not diving catch. I guess you could get, just give it catch and this guy like diving tackle. I think a catch is not a bad idea. Because then we have this guy picks it up, hands off to this guy. Okay. Actually, I should, if I have money, I should rebuy Leper Gnome. Need a dirty player, sneaky git? Uh, I mean, do I?
We got a lovely raid from an old patrol. Ugh, well, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to, I meant to do this. Did yeah they yeah but they nerfed them again in the Erota right? It's um, didn't they? Note that the Erota is actually active in Blood Bowl three, but then the Blood Bowl twenty twenty recent Erota change. Uh, sneaky git again, so that you can't move after the after the foul. I mean, for this team in particular, it doesn't matter. There are some other like super foulers that, with sneaky git, meant that they would run in three steps, foul, then run back uh, and stand in protection. But yeah, you're you're right in that. Um, you're right in that you don't get sent off for armor. Yeah, I mean, I can, uh, I can, I can see your point. Well, uh, let's uh, see if we can build one. So that's a one die, and they got it. He's got pants. Thus, he's amazing. <laughs> cool. I guess you get sneaky git first. And I guess sneaky git is extra amazing currently on skinks because it lets them, um, they have so much movement. I guess I should get that third reroll at some point as well. Oh no, I have to do this first. Nice. Stomp. That was, that was not stompy enough.
Okay. Yeah, you knocked me down on all of them. But that was a blitz. That means that the, the Troll Slayer is not blitzing out of here, which was my worry. Oh, that's a one. Reroll's fine. Do we even care to try and stop them? I guess we I guess we should try and stop them, shouldn't we? Um <laughs> Uh I kinda wanna No, I can't knock that down. I have to get rid of that first. Uh Okay, so I have to get rid of this, and I have to get rid of that. Uh, oh, this is... This is not enough, is it? Well... Oh, I... Pushed in the wrong way. Um... Because I can, I can stand this guy up and knock this down. But that is not very impressive. Um, no. So I have to do this, but that's a one, that's a three plus on a one die. Okay, uh, let's do some other stuff first then. Nice, you guys hang out over there. Don't stay put. So this guy's free now. Right, you don't have tackle, I just realized. Neither do you. I just do I just do this. And you'll have to blitz on your own. This is not very good, but just for the heck of it. <sighs> nope. There was, there was, if I really wanted to get the ball, there was probably a way to do that. Uh, or at least put more pressure on the ball than currently. Like, I probably could have tried to dodge this guy over here as well. Uh, and then run this guy down. They, uh, they did fail to knock me down. Uh, what's your range? Okay, you're gonna follow up. That's one, two. <laughs> I 
they got there in the end. Uh, but hey, shadowing uh, did a, did a thing, forced them to roll more dice, but it didn't work. But hey, we we did what we needed to do. Unfortunately, their yeah their uh, uh, head injury troll slayer uh, got murdered. Um, blood pass uh, eight hundred and eighty four from both of us. And look, our our SR went up loads more this time around like this was according to the game right we were playing against a higher level coach at least in coach ranking because they had access to dice we don't have access to so i think this might have been judged as like our first like steep competition we got 67 sr out of that and we need like it's 200 per level so you need three games like this to go up a level um so we're, you know, we're halfway to silver. That's pretty nice. Our gain details. Uh, still haven't rolled a six. Um, but we did score two touchdowns. So we have loads of money again, which feels nice. Look at this. Uh, Athros uh, got the MVP. Glendrake scored a touchdown. Math Machine scored a touchdown. And our Croxigor got a casualty. All right, and I was like, who got the other casualty then? But we surfed a dude. That's how that worked. It just bit down and did a thing. Okay, uh, before we look at the team, let's do the funnest bit. Um, level four. Okay, what do we have? We have a left arm. Uh, this thing. And our next level is uh, 50 warp stone. What's my... What is this? Oh. Chaos Ogre uh, turret thing. Cool. Let's have a look at our team. Right, so Math Machine. We want to give a uh, block. Means we have a sturdy runner. The other ones are probably not going to get that. Grand Drake here. We talked about it. Sneaky git. Let's go for it. Athros. Uh, do we love all of these? I don't think we love all of these. Um, I wonder if it's worth getting defensive on a f on a few of these. It might be. Okay, so we have 125. This could let us rebuy Leper Gnome. Look at our team value. Or we get our third reroll. I think we get our third reroll. Oh. No, we can't. Okay, we're saving up for a third reroll. I forgot how expensive they were. Oh boy. Uh, 